jungle. Audio jungle. Hi everyone and welcome to Sambo's the special training sections. Today we'll be looking at hydrological analysis and to be more specific we'll look at watershed delineation. This video will be divided into two parts. The first part will introduce watershed analysis and its application and also describe the data types and analytical tools that will be used and the pre-processing of data. The second part will illustrate the processes of creating a watershed, i.e. the pre-processing and watershed delineation. All right, so let's move into our first part. So as I indicated, we'll try to understand what watershed delineation is about and its application in today's world. So first of all, watershed delineation analysis is a study of a specific drainage area, which is a geographic region that collects and drains water into a common outlet, such as rivers, lakes, or ocean. And then the main reason for watershed analysis is to assess the health of the watershed and the quality and quantity of water flowing through it. The analysis typically involves examining various factors such as the land use, the soil characteristics, the precipitation patterns, and the water quality data. So basically, watershed help us to be able to analyze all right, the drainage areas in which water collects all right, or drains into a river or a lake or ocean. All right. And these help us to examine other factors such as the soil characteristics, the precipitation, and then the the land use, the general land use of the area. So having described what watershed delineation is about, let's now move on to the most, the important aspect of it. How do we apply watershed delineation and managing or tackling real world problems? So let's move on to the application of watershed delineation. So these, Analysis can be used in different areas, different organizations, different sectors can use these analysis to better come to better inform policies, to better plan or to better analyze whatever uh, problem they are trying to tackle. So the first application of watershed delineation is water resource management. Okay. So watershed analysis can help managers better understand the quantity and quality of water resources in the watershed, which can be used to inform decisions about water allocation, infrastructure planning, and water quality management. All right, so institutions, organizations that uh, into water resource management. In the jurisdiction of Ghana, for example, we have the Ghana Water Company Limited. We have the Environmental Protection Agency. All right. These organizations can use watershed delineation to better understand the quantity and then the quality of the water resources within a particular watershed. All right. So this is a very great tool for these institutions, there are more other institutions that can can use these for their water resource management. It can also be for private individuals, private companies who are into water resource management. Also, 
watershed delineation helps in flood control all right so understanding the flow of water in a watershed is very important for predicting and managing flood risk watershed analysis can help identify areas that are prone to flooding all right so it will help you to evaluate the effectiveness of flood controls and also inform flood prone management strategies so institutions organizations that are into flood controls such as uh, most countries have their national disaster management uh, organizations all right in the case of ghana we have our national disaster management organization which we call NADMO, all right we have mmds that's our metropolitan municipal district assemblies that are interested in uh, managing uh, disasters within their jurisdictions all right and we also have private uh, companies or private uh, organizations that are also you know interested in managing or reducing risks and uh, also risks associated with floods all right and so what I said help us to be able to predict if areas will be susceptible to flood all right by quantifying the the volume right the amount of water that drains into a particular area all right or the watershed area of a particular unit so this is another uh, application of watershed delineation all right the third application is how we can use it to conserve better conserve our habitat right we all are much aware of how our habitat is changing due to human activities right and so watershed in its natural form are homes to many uh, plant and animal species right and so understanding the the health of the watershed is very key all right in measures or in strategies or plans of protecting these habitats and so institutions can pick up can use these analyses to better understand the health of these watershed to better understand the impact all right of this watershed on the habitat and how all right uh, a deterioration of this watershed consequently affect the habitat okay let's move on all right and then also we can use watershed delineation for land use planning all right because watershed analysis help us to guide our land use decision making all right by identifying areas that are vulnerable to erosion first all right areas that are vulnerable to pollution and other environmental risks okay and this information can also inform zoning decisions right so as i mentioned um, watershed being home to habitat when you are planning when you are zoning all right when you are delineating your land use all right areas that have large watershed all right that are susceptible to flooding or are prone to flooding all right a land use zoning will delineate those areas to be no go area all right or to be a national reserve so that one you are limiting the risk all right of people being susceptible to flood and you are also protecting habitats that exist within those watershed okay and then the last one we'll be looking at is water quality management all right so watershed analysis uh, is an important tool for monitoring and managing water quality by analyzing water samples from different locations within the watershed all right managers of water quality all right they can identify the potential source of pollution all right and then how they can track changes within the water quality over time 
So we've, we've gone through some of the applications. There are several which you can uh, research further on. And it's, it's watershed delineation is a very great tool in, in these uh, real life applications. So let's move on and look at some of the tools and then the data that uh, we would use for the analysis in general. So I would just limit us to the data that you need. First of all, you need a data elevation model. All right, data. And then what is digital elevation model? We'll look at it in the, in the next slide. And then also, uh, we'll use the ArcGIS Pro software. Okay. With the data, we'll be looking at with the digital elevation model, right? Uh, this data is a primary input for watershed delineation, right? As it provides the elevation value that are used to calculate the flow direction and flow accumulation of the area. I should mention that these two analyses or these two information are very key in watershed delineation. The flow direction of the of the water and then the flow accumulation of the water. Okay, and so the digital elevation model gives us these data, all right, and help us to calculate the flow direction and the flow accumulation of the area we are interested in. And also, you need your PowerPoint data, right? Which you can create using the Agis Pro software, right? And what is this PowerPoint data? This is the location from which the watershed delineation will start. Okay, so the, the PowerPoint can be selected from a variety of sources, such as the known stream or river outlet, a dam or reservoir, or a specific point on the terrain okay so the pole point is the area right or the outlet where you the analyst is interested in right where you want you want to know uh, the area of the watershed right where the outlet covers in terms of you know its watershed okay and then we move on to the tools for watershed delineation okay so these are some processes that we'll be following all right to finally arrive you know with our ultimate goal watershed delineation okay so i'll just walk you through uh these uh basic steps and then when we start with the practicals which will be in the second section all right, it becomes easy for us to grasp. Okay. So first of all, we'll conduct what we call a uh, fill, all right, fill by sink. Okay. So what is the essence of fill? So when we get our digital elevation model data, all right, some of these data has um, depressions, all right, or has uh, some errors, within uh, the data okay so the software all right has an analyst tool which is the flow uh sync all right and these two fills the sinks in the dem to remove the depressions and ensure that the flow direction is calculated correctly okay so the for the purpose of watershed delineation when you fill the sinks in the dem it helps you to better calculate the flow direction to generate an accurate uh, accumulation and then subsequently the watershed of the area okay so we'll fill which is a very important uh, process of uh, watershed delineation and then the second is the flow direction okay so these are uh, flow direction under the hydrological tools help us to calculate the direction of flow at each cell in the digital elevation model which is used to identify the path that water would take downhill right so the flow direction 
to help us to calculate the directions all right of each of these uh dm all right to be able to identify the path the water would take downhill all right so that we are able to tell the directions of these uh drainage path within the terrain and then we have the flow accumulation all right these two also like the direction all right help us to calculate the number of cells that flow into each cell in the dem so here we are looking at the puzzle of flow how one piece move from move to the other right the essence of this is to, for us to tell areas that accumulate more right and then areas that accumulate less right and so the flow accumulation tools help us to calculate the cells that are able all right to to accumulate more right and then it's also used to identify the areas uh, of the watershed that contributes to the power point all right and so if you perform the flow accumulation analysis it help us to know you know areas within the water that you know leads or contributes to the the pore point you are interested in the pore point mind you is the area in which you the analyst is interested in okay and then we also have reclassification uh, these two create a stream network based on the flow direction and flow accumulation data okay so the reclassification help us to create the network all right of the flow and the accumulation data all right for us to better see the the flows and then the accumulations of uh our terrain and then the, the fifth one is the watershed analysis itself or the watershed too uh which delineate the watershed boundaries based on the flow accumulation and stream network so here it's based on the the classification that you do and then the flow accumulation output okay and then the last one is the the basin okay. the basin basically calculates right the basin characteristics of the watershed all right, so here we are looking at um, features such as the volume, the area, and then the length of the stream or the river. All right, so uh, this is an add-on. Right, you can tell the volume of the watershed. You can tell the area of the watershed, the length of the streams. All right, and so uh, these are the common processes that will follow to delineate our watershed. Okay, so thank you very much for the first part. Uh, the link will be below that will link that will take you to the second video, which will be on the practical how to delineate using Pro, the practical aspect of of it. Thank you very much for your time, and do follow the link to watch the second video. Thank you. Bye. Audio Jungle.